He said, then Jesus spake again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Is that a true statement? We know it's a Bible statement, right? Yeah, he man. said, I'm the light of the world. Now look at this. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness. Amen. But shall have the, look at that. That means you have the light of life. in you as you walk this world. Now, Matthew 5, 13 says, you are the salt of the earth, meaning you're different from what the world does. You, you're supposed to let your light, you're supposed to be the salt of the earth, but he said, if the salt has lost its savor, its flavor, where will shall it be salted? It is there for what? Good for nothing. Nothing. But you be, but to be cast out and be tried under the foots of men. And that's exactly what happens. But verse 14 says, you are the light of the world. We're talking believers, true believers. The tree is known by its fruit. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hid. Meaning in the gross darkness, you should let, your light should be shining out. You should be doing, you, they, they'll look at you and say you're different. Why are you different? Because I'm not going with the flow. I'm not being led by the blind, fallen blind people. I'm led by the light following Christ. He said, neither do men put a light on a candle. He said, neither do men light a candle and put it on a bushel, but on a what? A candlestick. Yeah. And they give his light unto all that are in the house. Believers supposed to, believers, it's, and it's not hard to let your light shine if we try, if we stay spiritually minded instead of cognitively minded. Yeah. Let's see here, next one. This is my favorite. I like, you read this for me. If you don't read, read, read the big first, first verse. I, I used to get excited when I read it. <laughs> this is one right here. Isaiah 60 and 1. Yes, sir. Arise, Hello. shine, for the light is come. Yes. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Yes. You yeah, know. That, that's something right there. Come on, brother. The point is that when, when Christ came, and, and the, the Holy Spirit is descending on him. Now he says, when he leaves, I'm sending what? The same comforter. Yeah. The same comforter that, let the, 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 that rests on him. That's why we're called Christians. Yeah. See, it's not, it's not the, I mean, we were talking a couple of weeks ago about the first name, Yeshua. Or Jesus, the transliteration. But Christ, the but Messiah. The, come on, people here. Anointed, the come Messiah. On. We are Messiah-like. <laughs> That's the whole point, man. Now, the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit, come on now, y'all, it rested on them in that room. And every says anyone who received him, the anointing, and uh, you know we we call in the, uh, the one of the church doesn't call it the burden removing yoke destroying power of God. Yeah, that's what we have resting on us, and it's it's not because of man, nor is it for the approval of man. This anointing comes from God. Anybody who wants a gift and be a light is this. So I like to say, rise and shine, for the light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He said, look at this, for behold. And he, he started really, the, the, this is for shouting Christ, the anointed one, right? It, but yeah. but it, it, it's, but it's, it has a, a, what you call a ripple effect as you read it. I'll, I'll read it. It has a ripple effect. It says, behold, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Has it not? Yes. In gross darkness, look at this, the people. Well, 
but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be what? Seen upon thee, believers. Rise and shine because the glory of the Lord shall be on you. And look at it, here's verse three. In the Gentile, the non-believers, those are not part of the Hebrews because the, the gross doctrine was on them too. <laughs> We're talking about Christ. Yeah. He said, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thy eyes around about and see. All they gather themselves together. They shall come to who? Thee. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Thy son shall come from afar. And thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and the flow together, and the heart shall fear and be large because the abundance, this is the body of Christ now here, the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, and the force of the Gentile shall come unto thee. These are talking about people being saved. This is about you. This is about, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, the last part of that is, let me see. Did I read, I read the first part of that, right? Yeah, nope. That was it. The, the Gentiles are coming to thee. That's us. Yeah. That's the believers coming to and, the light. This was done way before Christ. Come on now. Before. This Come is on. prophesied. It's prophesied. Yeah. This the, actually, it's not prophet. This is a prophecy. Yes, sir. That has been fulfilled, and is still being fulfilled. It's still fulfilled. The the true believers, or those who want to come to the light, they can see the light, and they come to the light. And the light people see some people right call them on it. We think they gonna think uh -oh. they think I'm on the oh, light, don't they? <laughs> huh? They think they think of the light, don't they? <laughs> you sound frozen oh well, i heard you okay <laughs> but you're you're oh there you go okay okay yeah i told my wife i was using my hot spot I'm, I'm gonna give me a booster for this and tomorrow today i'm gonna get one because you're talking about a uh booster yeah for the inside the house bring it, come right beside the house. But obviously there's some uh, barriers that's keeping it from uh, staying stable connection. But do you like that part about that light shining? Oh yeah. I know it. And, 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 and you and, know, and even it says the light is put on a candlestick. Yeah. So regardless if it's on the floor, it's still elevated. It's elevated. <laughs> it's elevated. It's involved. Yes, Not sir. Beneath. Yes, sir. <laughs> and it's elevated in darkness. Yes. So you can see it, so you don't stumble. Because yeah. you, you can see what's below and what's above. And that's what people are looking for. People are looking for the true believers, and, and it's not based on legalism. Yeah. It's really based on bearing the fruit. They want to see love. They come to love. They want to see joy. They want to see peace. They want to see long suffering. They see if they see it in you, that's what they want. And what we get from the Holy Spirit. That's what I like about this one is that this is this is the call. He sent us. They go preach the gospel. Some people don't say, well, 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 the apostles are supposed to do it. No, no, no. Even when you go to church service, you huddle and then you break and then your platform is your life you know what i mean your pulpit is your life you bring the light into the home you bring the light into the job you bring the light into your walking up and down the stores let your light shine and and all we want to do is let you you got the anointing on you people yeah you got the anointing on you let your light shine let the holy spirit manifest himself through you Stop trying to do it by your own ability because it don't work. Stop worrying about what people think because it don't matter. The only what matters is God Almighty. 
That's all that matters. If you can get that mindset, you know what I mean? Because you're going to fall short. I remember, if you remember the time I was uh, uh, dealing with, uh, when Bishop was doing the, uh, the central Kant's idea of the text. Yeah, CIT. And, and, and he was sad, it, it was the, he was disappointed in us and the fact that we couldn't get, didn't go into that depth and I know what you know. The, I understand where, where he was coming from. Yeah. But my, my whole thing is we can only get the level of understanding to the level of understanding that we're at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. We, we, each individual, we were all getting revelation. Right. It just wasn't his revelation. Right. So, uh, so, and I, and I can understand the, the frustration in that, but also the fact is you got to look, Christ even said, you know, how, how long must, <laughs> I must, did. must I be around this faithless generation, man? <laughs> he got frustrated. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think, I, and I think the difference was that uh, Christ was talking about when they like you. Are you not? Are you not? Did, how long you been with me, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here it was, like you said, different levels of revelation. Yeah. That we, but if you can at least re, what we want to do is respect each level of revelation, and then. Yeah. Bring it all, bring it all together. Uh -huh. I thought at one part you said it. Well, what you, what's yours, right? You just yeah. say, what, is, what is yours, you know? And I, I think it was a degree was that sometimes even his was not, you know, was was really fixed yet, not formulated. Yeah. But I think I think the intent was if I could get some of yours, if you if you actually dig, dig deep. Uh -huh. And if I get some of yours and yours I actually dig deep, we, we're going to bring something together that's going to be real deep, you know? But I thought that was the, the, the purpose of the group in the first place. I, I really did. Right. I really thought that out of the collective of individuals, we would get what God is placing in each of us to get yeah. a bigger picture yes, sir. and a greater understanding. Right. So if you got what your life experiences is with your knowledge of what you have learned and yes. what God has poured into you yes. is for you. Yes. But some of that can apply to me. Yes. No different than this with me. Yes. In my upbringings, in my nature, in my trials and tribulations, and what God has poured into me, yes. when I expose that, then you get some pieces of that that you can apply Come to on. you. Yes. So that is the fullness of the body. Yes. My foot is God. not going to get Woo. the same as my hand. Come on. Experiences of my hand Woo. can help my feet. Come because on, where my hand grabs up here, Come my on, foot knows that Woo. there is something to get support <laughs> on to elevate to the on, next man. level. <laughs> so there is a give and a take in all of this. And yeah. the lowest person in Christ has something to offer to yeah. the greatest in Christ. Because as we grow, we tend to move past what excited us, what Woo. burned us when we first received this gift yes. that unmeasurable yes the joy that was in us the fire that set up in our bones that had us running out trying to find anyone come on now i got to you. share what we have learned yes that tends to move toward a growing into understanding and knowledge in who we are in christ but to hear somebody Woo. who just come in <laughs> even heaven rejoices come on now have a rejoice. Just, just so have... there is something to be gained from everyone. Yes. If we give them the opportunity to share. Yes. And then there is a education Come on now. that is to be given because we are all Christians, which yes. means we are 
Messiah like. Come we on, are now. Yeshua like. Yes, come on we now. Are, he's within us so we can instruct and elevate one another, no different than Christ did to the disciples. Yes, yes. That let that light shine. And then everybody gets to see all those different lights. Let that salt. Oh, we froze up again. Oh, Lord. Oh, there you are. Okay, good, good. Maybe that intermittent is not that bad. Hey, I like that. Let that light shine. Let your light shine. And let somebody feed off on that light. Man, you got me excited. I know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's what he's trying to do. That's why he says the body of Christ. Yes. Right? Yes. Christ gave his revelation. Christ gave his understanding, giving us spiritual principles, right? So he said, well, everybody has something to bring to the table if we just let them do it. Yeah, yeah. We got to give everyone an opportunity let, let to, them do to, it. to share what, what Christ has done for them, what they have experienced with him. Yeah. And then even if they are amiss and are off, there is still... It's still, man, come on. It still matters, and there is still an elevation yes. to be had come for on. that individual. Yes. And not only that individual, for the person who is trying to uplift and undergird that person to give them a better knowledge, Ooh. that person is just establishing themselves. Exactly. Matter of fact, you know, it kind of reminds me of that David scenario with Goliath. You remember he came in to just bring yeah. some food? To the king, to the uh, to yep. his brothers, and and I guess he had extra for the captain and and stuff like that. Basically, that's how they fed the uh, army. But the when when he when the Goliaths came, <laughs> like everybody else was like, "Whoa, man! <laughs> I ain't gonna take this Joe out." <laughs> and this guy called him for a champion to come out and fight him. Yeah. And, and most people were like, "No, no, no." I, I'll, I'll just wait till we're all going there to fight. And then look, a couple of us gonna gang up on this joker, right? But if he think I'm going out there to fight him, I ain't doing it. Yeah. But but mm. the problem was, you, I like this story what David, David said, but the Bible said, but David heard. Cause you remember he came out there every day and was defiling the army of Israel every day. These all the same folks now. These all the, established and yeah. Christians now. They heard them, right? They all heard them. It's all heard them. So here come a new Christian, you know, younger. Yeah. You know, right? And and they even mocked him. His brother did, right? His brother's like, well, why are you, where, where, who's taking care of those few sheep you're supposed to be watching out there anyway? You know, you, Ooh, you don't have nothing to say. Signal's either. bad. Your signal's bad. Is it back yet? It's getting back. Oh, I hate that, man. Uh, that's when you get those bad connections. I guess a lot of people are probably using it right now. Yeah. Uh, but my point, you remember like David showed up and everybody was like, uh, dude, or his brother anyway, say, you know, go back to those sheep you've been watching. Yeah. I, I don't, we don't, we don't need to hear what you got to say. It basically dismissing it. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, this story will preach. This story will preach because yeah. you got these seasoned Christians that are experiencing things that this younger one has not experienced, but that younger one is establishes is established in the small things. In the small things. In the necessary things. Yes. Those, those those foundational things, this young one has been established and, and is sound in. Yeah. Whereas these seasoned ones in the front line are experiencing the cares of the world. Yes. Where was, they forget those foundational things. Yeah. And then you got this young one come in and he just, the, what his foundation was, was strong enough to, to, overcome those situations that they were that the seasons ones were with which when they were were younger would have done the same thing exactly but because of existing in this world and in this this the world system and you fighting all these different fronts yeah 
you move on to, 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 to bigger things and bigger revelations that those foundational ones you tend to move past. Move past yeah. But when that brother was come up and he's like, who is this Philistine? <laughs> That's enough, did he, did he just, who is this just... guy <laughs> that is talking about my God? He, he, right, he's like, did I just hear him? Yeah. Did I hear what he just said? They all looked at him like, yeah, we heard what he just said. But see, they didn't, he didn't see the giant, he saw the attack on his father, God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was, it was the, the assault on his king, his God. And, and, and no different than most family members. When somebody attacks a family member, you're like, who, who, what? Yeah, right, right. You, you, you don't have a mama fight a bear yeah. over her child. It's because they know, because they know something, right? I'm, I'm yeah. not broken up at because uh, it's almost like, like you said, like talk about Michael Jordan. Just, just use that as an example, and and you say, oh man, he ain't, he ain't all that. Yeah. Did y'all hear what he just said? Did y'all hear? <laughs> Do you want to play Michael Jordan? Because yeah. I don't know what you're talking about right now because you're mouthing, but it don't add up to what I know about the man. Yeah. Same thing they were saying is I know about God. Yeah. I know we have a covenant with him. And I know what he's done for me. I know, oh, come on now. Woo! I know what he's done for me. Oh, Lord, there's that testimony. Ain't it? Yeah. I'm serious. That's what he said. We overcome by the blood of the lamb. And by the words of our testimony. And the words of our testimony. And, and it sounds to me is that that testimony, especially a young person coming in, I ain't talking about physical appearance, I'm talking about just in spirit, they, can't, they bring a lot to the table. Don't they? Yeah. And that's what you're talking about. The David, they, all David saw was, is this not a cause? This is not something that we need to go ahead and take care of right now. And they all heard, do you know, I don't know if, when you read the, the details of this, that story, they brought him before Saul because they said, this man seemed like he got a relationship the rest of us ain't, 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 ain't tracking right now. Because look, they put that man, remember they tried to put the uniform on him? Yeah. Why, 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 what, tell me, tell me, you, like you said, this is free. Why, why would they want to put a uniform on? Because yeah. their trust was in that external and not in the internal. Exactly. Their faith was in that armor and those weapons, yeah. not David. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, the thing is that that's, that's the difference they, you know, he, oh, my fact, I like this. Sometimes we use this before the story was you come in anointed, the system, the religious system, the institution of man will now try to put their, you know, their means, their methods on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, then now you, you using means and methods they need to teach in a seminary or the cemetery. They, 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 in other words, they try to incorporate you into how they do something. And God is saying is, no, you need, every man is moved based on, if you let him, uh, uh, I can, how would you say it? If you move by him, then you are operating under his gift, right? His anointing. And you can appreciate one another just based on that. On, you know, they did letting your light shine. Each person got a gift, right? They all got different gifts. And let your gift work for you. That's what David did. David said, I haven't not tried these. I'm sorry, people that never heard the story before. We'll get I'll get it. We'll get it one day. But the point is, David said, What? I have not tried these. What you're giving me is not proven. Yeah. Not tested by me. So I'm gonna go by what I know. 
Because what I know is that regardless of whether I go with a slingshot or a sword or a shield, it's not me that's going to make a difference. Because David know, you knew, that if he had took that rock in the natural, that slingshot in the natural, uh, what would have happened? Nothing. <laughs> it would have bounced off of wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's why they got swords and shields and helmets. You know, it's, it's, the rock would have hit the uniform, the coat of armor. The rock would have hit the helmet. Hey, look, the rock could have hit the man. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you've been hit by a rock before, right? <laughs> He didn't kill you, did it? No, but it sure hurt, bro. Yeah, I know it hurt, brother. Don't get me wrong, I know it hurt. But it don't kill you. But when the anointing gets behind it, what, what that rock did do? It sunk yeah. into his skull. And the only way that could have happened is by the anointing of God. That, that rock went right past the man's God, I wonder why they put in stories that the rock went, the children say, look, rock went through the helmet into the skull. But the basic saying is that rock struck that man's head and sunk into his skull. Yeah. Where the real natural rock would have bounced off of it. Man, it hurt, don't get me wrong. But it would have sunk into his skull. Because it what? Because of the anointing. That's what he tried to tell us why let our light shine. Let the anointing, the anointing of God in your life makes your light shine. And that's where he's trying to come from. Uh, the